Diyos. Maraming salamat po sa buhay at lakas na aming tagnay. Sa liwanag ng kaisipan at sa pagkakataon maipagpatuloy ang pag-aaral ng mga kabataan. Gabay mo po ang bawat isa sa amin. Ano man ang bahagi na aming gagampanan na huwag maging maayos at matagumpay ang pagtuturo at pag-aaral na aming gagawin sa araw na ito. Patawarin mo po kami sa aming mga pagkulang at pagkakasala. At sa aming paggawa, ikaw po ang aming makasala. Amen. Good day, grade 9 learners. Hope you have a wonderful and healthy morning. Are you excited to learn another jam-packed lesson for today? I'm sure you do. I am Mom Azel, your virtual PLE teacher for this morning. Join me for another learning engagement only here at Valenzuela Live. For your attendance, don't forget to comment below your school name and section just a few reminders before we start first prepare your tle learning packet pen and paper second be fully present be sure to stay focused as we discuss today's lesson the learnings you will acquire for today will be advantage to keep you healthy third be respectful Set a respectful tone, refrain from using unnecessary words in using the chat box. Are you ready? Then let's get started! We are now on week 2 in first quarter cookery 9. Our learning outcome for today is clean, sanitize, and store kitchen tools and equipment. For today's lesson, allow me to present our learning objectives. Determine the chemicals to be utilized in cleaning and sanitizing kitchen tools and equipment. Clean and store kitchen tools and equipment safely in designated places. Appreciate the importance of chemical to be utilized in cleaning and sanitizing kitchen tools and equipment. To start with, let us engage in this activity entitled Hashtag Reac. I will be giving you sentences about the characteristic and important skills of a good entrepreneur. And you will try to share your stand by posting your answer in the comment box below. The task here is to put a heart reaction in the comment section if the statement is true. A thumbs up reaction if the statement is false. You will be given 10 seconds to answer after every statement. Okay, ready, keyboard warriors? Let's start! Question number one. Hardworking is one of the important characteristics of a good entrepreneur. This means habitually working diligently for a long period of time. Your time starts now. The statement is true. Heart reaction. Hard working means habitually working diligently for a long period of time. Question number two. An entrepreneur should not be creative and innovative to stay in the business. The time starts now. up? Yes, it's false. Thumbs up reaction. Entrepreneur should be creative and innovative. Question number three. Decision making is strategic thinking and setting of goals to achieve objectives by carefully maximizing all the available resources. Your time starts now. False. 
also times up reaction. The term must be planning, not a decision making. Question number four. Entrepreneurs are people with skills and capabilities to see and evaluate opportunities. Your time starts now. As the statement is true, so heart reaction. You're amazing grade 9 learners. I am very glad you still remember our past lesson. Now, to start our discussion, let's have an I and my exercises. This is what we call as think to win it. The mechanics will be to arrange the jumbled letter correctly in order to get the answer that best describes the statement. Are you ready? 10 seconds will be given to think and arrange the jumbled letters on the comment box. Statement number one. It is the complete removal of food soil using appropriate detergents, chemicals, under recommended condition. Our time starts now. Time's up. Nice one. The correct answer is cleaning. Cleaning is the complete removal of food soil using appropriate detergent. Next, it is defined as cleaning something to make it free from bacteria or disease causing elements. Your timer starts now. Time's up. You got it right. The correct answer is Sanitizing. Sanitizing is defined as cleaning something to make it free from bacteria. Okay, again, cleaning is the complete removal of food soil using appropriate detergent while sanitizing is defined as cleaning something to make it free from bacteria. Now, let's proceed to the different types of cleaning compounds. For you're able to easily recall it, I'll make an acronym for cleaning compound. And this is DASA. D A S A. DASA. D stands for detergents. A stands for acid cleaners. S for solvent cleaners. And A for abrasive cleaners. Let's find out where should we use the following cleaning compound. Number one, detergents. These are cleaning agents, solvents, or any substance used to wash tableware, surfaces, and equipment. It can penetrate soil quickly and soften it. Again, detergents can penetrate soil quickly and soften it. These are the example of detergents. We have soap. Soap powders, cleaners, acid, volatile solvents, and abrasive. These are used in routinely washed dishes, tablewares, etc. Number two, acid cleaners. Used periodically in removing mineral deposits and other soils that detergent cannot eliminate. Again, acid cleaners used to remove mineral deposits and other soil. The examples of acid cleaners are phosphoric acid, nitric acid, etc. This is used in scale in washing machine and steam tables. Number three, solvent cleaners. It is commonly referred to as degreasers. Used on surface where grease has burned on. Remember, solvent cleaners also called as degreasers. This is used on oven and grills where grills has burned on. Number four, these types are generally used to remove heavy accumulation of soil that are difficult to remove with detergents, solvents, and acid. Remember, abrasive used to remove heavy accumulation of soil. 
This product must carefully use to avoid damage to the surface being cleaned. Other chemical use for cleaning and sanitizing kitchen tools and equipments are the following. Number one, ammonia. Number two, disinfectants. Number three, steam scent. Four, dishwashing liquid. Five, carbolic acid. Six, chlorine. Seven, so remember grade nine learners, the right cleaning agent must be selected because not all cleaning agents can be used on food surfaces. And of course, to make cleaning easy. To see whether you understand our discussion, let's have our first activity. Let's play a game, Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? In this game, I will go and read the question and the choices. Think about it for 10 seconds and then type the letter of the correct answer in the comment box. Let's start! Question number one. It is defined as cleaning something to make it free from bacteria or disease causing element. A. Sanitizing. B. Disinfectant. C. Cleaning. D. Degreasers. Your time starts now. Time's up. The correct answer is letter A. Very good, grade 9 learners. Question number 2. It can penetrate soil quickly and soften it. Is it A. Acid cleaners B. Abrasive cleaners C. Detergents Or D. Solvent cleaners Your time starts now. Letter C, detergents. Nice one, learners. Question number three. It is used to remove heavy accumulation of soil. Is it letter A, detergents? Letter B, abrasive cleaners? Letter C, solvent cleaners? Or letter D, acid cleaners? Your time starts now. Abrasive cleaners. Amazing grade 9 learners. Question number 4. Often called as degreasers. Is it A. Abrasive cleaners. Letter B. Detergents. Letter C. Acid cleaners. Or letter D. Solvent cleaners. Your time starts now. You've got it right. Number five. It's the complete removal of food soil using appropriate detergent. Is it A, sanitizing, B, chemical, C, disinfectant, or letter D, cleaning? Your time starts now.
mechanical dishwashing. Relies on machine to wash, rinse, and sanitize. This picture shows a dishwasher. It is a machine used to clean dishware and cutlery automatically. In manual dishwashing, there are two ways. First is the three-base sink way of washing. Second is washing dishes by hand. There are six steps when doing the three-base sink way of washing. Number one, sorting. In this part, you are going to sort the dishes and kitchen wares. Number two is scraping. Scrape of food or dirt in wares. Number three is washing. In 110 to 120 degree Fahrenheit, you are going to wash by means of sponge, dish brush, or etc. Number four, rinse. In 120 to 140 degree Fahrenheit, it means you're going to wash off with clean, hot water. Number five, sanitize. The final rinse in 120 to 140 degree Fahrenheit. And number six, air dry by placing in dish rack. Note in three, steps three, four, and five, the set degree Fahrenheit there must not exceed because the operator will touch the water and the dishes. If exceeded, the operator hand may scold. Next, this illustration is in the process of tray basic. As term implies, we have three sink or compartment. Sink 1 is the wash area where the detergent solution has been made and where the dishes wash. Sink 2 is the rinse area, which uses hot water for rinsing the kitchen wares. Sink 3 is the sanitized area, which have sanitizer solution in it and it is the final rinse. Again, sink 1, wash area, detergent solution. Sink 2, rinse area, clean, hot water. Sink 3, sanitize area, sanitizer solution. I hope I make everything clear, my dear learners. Next step is washing dishes by hand. This time, I prepare a video showing the step on how to wash dishes using by hand correctly. Please be a keen observer while watching the video because you will be given a task afterwards. Enjoy watching! Hi learners! Today, I will going to demonstrate to you on how to wash dishes by hand.
that was a very informative video, I'm sure you learned a lot. Now, it's time to do the next task. Please prepare your pen and paper to jot down your answer. Let me read the direction. Arrange the step in washing dishes by hand using ordinal number. For added info, an ordinal number is a number defining a thing's position in series, such as first, second, third, and so on. I am going to give you 10 seconds to answer this task. Afterwards, choose the correct order sequence from the pool of choices. Ready now your pen and paper. Let's start. Place dishes in drying. Scrape. Rinse with hot water. Make a soapy water. Wash dishes with sponge. Time's up. Five seconds to choose the letter of the correct answer. Then type your answer in the comment box. Zach, what's your answer, grade 9 learners? You nailed it! Good job, learners! The correct answer is letter B. Congratulations for really figuring it out. Give me a heart reaction in the comment box if you got it right. Good job, learners! Wow! There's a lot of heart reaction in our comment box. As we continue, there are two ways in manual dishwashing. Number one, three basic, which have six steps. Number two is washing dishes by hand, which have five steps. Let's proceed now in step in second dishwashing techniques, which is mechanical dishwashing. This picture shows the mechanical dishwashing done in the kitchen of a food service operation. There are six steps in mechanical dishwashing, and these are number one, load it up. Number two, fill your dishwasher logically, establish a routine, and stick with foremost load. Number three, don't crowd the dishes. Fill your dishwasher full, but not crown. You'll maximize the cleaning capacity. Number four, add detergents. Fill the detergent dispenser with cleanser, either liquid or powder, and close it up. Number five, turn it on, set the timer as necessary. A shorter time for lightly sold dishes as a longer for heavily pots, pan, and dishes. And number six, dry the dishes. You can use a heated dry or use air drying. You must follow the step in mechanical dishwashing for your safety. Don't forget to bear in mind these pointers too in manual and mechanical dishwashing. In manual dishwashing, the temperature ranges are lower than automatic because the operator must touch the water and the dishes at each step. So in manual dishwashing, the temperature ranges are lower than automatic. Next, automatic sanitizing sink, sometimes used in manual dishwashing, where the operator wears safety gloves and lower dishes in using a basket. He to it to wear safety gloves in using automatic sanitizing sink. In mechanical dishwashing, it is required to have temperature and sanitizer gauge to monitor the water temperature and gauges sanitizer levels for the operator to be safe. The operator must have temperature and sanitizer gaze because this is required in mechanical dishwashing. We almost have through discussing the different cleaning compound. It's now time to find out the proper storage of kitchen tools and equipment. Let's check it out. 
clean and sanitized tools and equipment must be number one stored in a clean storage area number two handle properly to minimize food contamination on the food contact surface this picture shows how to store the kitchen tools and equipment properly also this picture when organizing kitchenware items in kitchen cabinet it's best to sort everything by category and designate specific areas for each type of items like this bear in mind and practice doing this task at home so as to avoid bacteria from penetrating or accident it is essential because it helps us to be more secured far from bacteria and other causes of illness let's have another activity this is to measure whether you truly understand our engagement for today in this test you are going to identify the word referred to by the given statement think and type your answer in the comment box let's get it on question number one how many steps are there in mechanical dishwashing let me see your answer yes very good six steps question number two what is required in mechanical dishwashing comment down your answer yes you got it right temperature and sanitizer gauge question number three in sink three methods in what sinks are the dishes wash type it down your answer yes the correct answer is sink one the wash area question number four relies on machine to wash rinse and sanitize comment down your answer and your answer is good job mechanical dishwashing number five in three sink bay method what is in sink number two type down your answer okay yes amazing grade nine learners the answer is clean hot water thank you very much for actively participating grade nine learners bear in mind this poster reminder clean then sanitize this is a one two punch for food born illness in the kitchen remember grade nine learners that the item to be sanitized must first be washed or cleaned properly before it can be properly sanitized have fun to clean and sanitize your kitchen wares before properly store them so be healthy and stay healthy okay now by using hashtag sure we learn comment down below what you have learned for today's lesson type it down grade nine learners okay from our comment box she says now she knew what are the different types of cleaning agents to be used for certain presence of dirt. Nice one. Another comment. When organizing kitchenware items in kitchen cabinets, it's best to sort everything by category and designate specific areas for each type of items. Very good. Good job and thank you grade 9 learners. I am positive that you will be able to complete the succeeding task in our learning packet. For your home learning task, answer what's more on page 10 in your self-learning module in TLE. Again, I am Ma'am Aisal Tumbaga from Polo National High School leaving you this code. If you are not willing to learn, no one can help you. If you are determined to learn, no one can stop you.
So keep learning every day. That's all for today. Bye and keep safe, everyone.